What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do a super speed effect in Vegas Pro 14. So this is the raw footage of the video you saw at the start and I'm going to be showing you how you need to record your video. So this is me right here and I'm just going to play this through. As you can see I was just checking if I'm in the right position, rubbing my hands and that's what you do. So you go to a position that looks like you're about to run and you simply just hold it and this will make more sense when we come to the editing part of it. And then I'm looking at the camera to make sure I'm in position. And then you make an effect like you just stopped from super speed. What you saw at the start, I won't be editing all of that. But this section right here is what I'll be editing. And then it will help you do all the other edits as well. Now the first thing we need to do, as you can see, when I started the recording, I didn't get on screen straight away. And the reason for that is because we're going to be taking a snapshot of this background. And you need to be able to do this as well. So where it says preview, set this to best and full and simply press this button to take a snapshot. Now I'm going to call this back, which is short for background. And as you'll see, it's going to be in our project media up here. Now the next thing we're going to do, I'm going to find the part where I am in position and I am pretending to uh, do the effect, which is right here. So then I'm going to play this through and find the part where I just move forward, which is right there. Now I'm going to press S on my keyboard to split it. And then I'm going to come across to the part where I'm in position where I simply pretended I jumped back into place, which is right there. So I'm going to press S on my keyboard there and everything in the middle part right here, we're simply going to delete. So we're going to press it and delete it on our keyboard. Now that background image we took, a uh, snapshot, we're going to drag and drop this in. We're going to right click, insert another video track. And if yours is black, just select the track and press X on your keyboard to get rid of it. And then the video at the start, put it on the top track and the video at the end, put it on the top track like so. And then this background snapshot we took, you can leave this here like that. Now the next thing we need to do is come to the first video, zoom into it and go back one keyframe by pressing this button here. As you'll see, this is what we're going to get. Take a snapshot and then we're going to call this speed. Now, if you're doing multiple speed effects like I done in the video at the start, I recommend calling it speed one, and then you can call the next one speed two, speed three. And I'm going to press save. Now, this is what we're going to get, and I'm going to drag and drop this in. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to make this three or four keyframes. In the video you saw at the start, I done four keyframes, but for now I'm going to do three keyframes. And what we're going to do is zoom in, and we're going to go across one, two, three. Then what we're going to do is trim this image down, and then we're going to trim it all the way down to one frame. So I'm going to press S on my keyboard and we're going to delete this part up here. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to come to the event pan and crop. Now I recommend making this really big so you can mask out yourself. We're going to come to the bottom and select mask and then come to the move tool and we can simply zoom into ourselves. Now what we're going to do is come to the pen tool, which is right here, the anchor creation tool. And all we're going to do is left click and go around our body. Now you don't need to be precise. It does not matter and you will see why when I get to the other part of editing it. So right now I'm just gonna fast forward all of this. And then what you wanna do is make sure all the dots connect up like this. You'll know they're connecting up when everything highlights yellow. If you don't see that, then you have made a mistake and you need to go back and make sure you're able to do this. So now we are masked out just like that and we can X out of this. And as you'll tell, my masking was not precise and I will show you that it doesn't matter. The next thing I'm gonna do is Control C and simply press Control V twice. And that is now three keyframes of the same image. And then I'm gonna drag this one back like so. The next thing we're going to do is add something called Gaussian Blur and this is under the Video Effects tab. If you don't see it then simply come to View, Windows Layout and select Default Layout. And then from Video Effects we're going to go and find Gaussian Blur which is right here. And I'm going to add on the Extreme Blur just onto one of them for now. As you'll see we look like a blur so we're going to change the vertical range to zero. And that gives us that speed effect already. Then we're going to X out to this and we're going to do the exact same thing to the other clips. So add on Extreme Blur from Gaussian Blur, turn the vertical range down, and then simply, that's it. So now all of them are gonna look the same like that. 
And now we're gonna create the movement of this image. So the first thing we need to do though, we need to be aware that our ending position is right here. So be aware of that. You need to remember that. And the way I like to remember where my position is, as you'll see down here, there is a wall socket for where I am. So I know the position I need to aim for. So the next thing we're gonna do is come to the event pattern crop. And this time you wanna make sure you're on position. And I also recommend coming here and make sure it's in move in X only. Now this is the way I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna have sync cursor checked. I'm gonna to come to the last keyframe, well, the next keyframe, because it's only one keyframe. And I'm simply gonna drag this to the left just a little bit. I'm then gonna to come to this last keyframe we have just created, right click it and select copy. Of course you can press control C on your keyboard as well. Then we're gonna come over to the next image and we're gonna simply go to the event and crop, position. And now that keyframe we have just pasted, we're gonna press control V on our keyboard on the first keyframe. Then we're gonna to come to this next keyframe and drag it a bit more to the left like so. Then we're gonna control C this last keyframe, X out of this and come to the final image which is right here, come to position, simply paste in that keyframe we just copied, and then remember we're aiming for that, we're almost there, so we can come across, and we can just go a little bit more like so. Then we can X out of it. Now, as you'll see, this is what it's gonna look like with the frames, so we're there, there, to there, and then we're gonna be there. So I'm gonna play this through, and this is what we have. That is what we have. And as you'll tell, you're done, just like that. Now I also recommend putting this up a bit more, so. So now this is what we have, just like that. And that is how simple it is to create this fast speed effect. And of course, uh, it's happening super quick because of course you want a fast speed effect, but it's also only three frames long. If you want to have the fast speed effect but make it look or last a bit longer on the screen then just bring up the keyframes. I'll probably say stay to about a maximum of 7 or 6 keyframes. If you go above that then it won't be looking as fast. But anyway that's it for this tutorial. I hope it's been useful for you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate and peace.